Hi, <clears throat> good morning, and I'm glad you're here. We are going to be talking about some reading strategies today. And over the last month or so, or maybe even a little longer, we've been working on these uh, reading strategies behind me. And I have been hearing that you have been doing a great job practicing those and thinking about which ones you're trying. And this takes a lot of practice. So I think that's a pat on the back, ready? Pat, pat, pat on the back, 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 forward job, well done. So today we're going to be not doing a new strategy, but we're going to be thinking about something else when we're reading. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And um, this is what I wanna show you. So I'm gonna start this from the beginning and this is really short, ready? What do you see in this picture right in the middle? What is this? If you said that's a period, you're right. We use a period in our writing at the end of a sentence and a lot of times we see a period when we're reading. So a period tells us something. It's like a secret code and here's what it tells us. It tells us to pause or stop. So we're gonna try that with some motions. So a period tells us to pause or stop. So when we see a period, when we're reading, we're going to do that. We're going to pause or stop for a minute and then start reading again. And that's a really good time to take a breath when you're reading. Sometimes when we're reading something, um, if we just kept reading and reading and reading and didn't take a breath or pause or stop, it would be really hard to keep going. So it's kind of like a little break for us as readers and it helps us understand what we're reading. Okay, so I'm gonna try to exit out of this. And we're going, I'm going to share uh, my screen again because we are going to get out a book. And to get out a book, we're going to go on to Epic. And so when I log into Epic, here's our class code right here. And then we're going to go find our name. I'm going to get on my daughter's account here. And then you are going to go right here to GRL and that helps you pick a book that's just right for you, okay? So I know all of you would be able to do a level A book um, if you had a parent or a sister or brother or grandma or um, someone that's watching you read it to you first and then you can read it after that. Um, but if you can, you might wanna try one from level B or C or D or wherever you are at. You can keep going. If you need it to go higher, it won't go any higher. You can go right here and you can choose um, what level you wanna read at, okay? So for right now, we're going to start with the level C, okay? So I'm gonna pick one, let's see, let's try this one. This says See Me Play. So I'm gonna click this book. Open it up. Oh, there's our dedication page. And we're going to start reading. And remember, when we get to a period, we get to pause or stop. Ready? Let's do it. I see the ball. Did you notice how I paused or stopped? Another thing you can do when you get to that is take a breath. That helps you too. It doesn't have to be a big breath. Just a little breath is fine. Ready? I see the ball. Okay, so you can breathe every time you get to that. The ball is fast. Pause. Stop. Good job. The ball is wet. And now we pause or stop. The bird wants the ball. Did you notice? We just naturally want to pause and stop when we get to the end of a sentence like that. The bird has the ball. Pause or stop. The bird drops the ball. 
the whale has the ball. The ball is going The lion has the ball. The ball is gone. Go. So little pause there and then the gulp. And same thing when you get to the end, if there isn't a period, if it's a question mark or right here, it's an exclamation point, then we also pause or stop. But that tells us something else too. Does anyone remember, we've talked about it before, what does a question mark do and what does an exclamation point do? So a question mark means it's a question, right? So when we are saying a question, our voice goes up to ask the question. And um, so that mark, when we see that mark, that reminds us for our voice to go up or in this case, if we see this exclamation point, we know to say it with excitement. It could be angry excitement. It could be happy excitement. It could be loud. We're not really sure. So we have to read the word and kind of figure it out and make our best guess. So here it's saying gulp and he's smiling. So I bet it's kind of a loud, happy gulp. Ready? You want to try it with me? Gulp. Nice job. Okay, and then I think, oh, whoops, I went way too fast, didn't I? I skipped a page. Let's go back. Here we go. I see a stick. Where's our page? Hmm, what do you think is going to happen now in this book, now that he has a stick? First it was a ball, and what happened? And now what? That's kind of a silly way for a story to end. So it's saying if you like this book, you might like these books too that you could try. Or you don't have to do those. You can push the little X and come right back to the beginning. It will show you other books too that maybe aren't um, at your just right reading level that you can look at too. Or you can have um, the book read to you if it has this green button. Okay, so this week while you're reading, let me unshare my screen so you can see better. Okay. This week, while you're reading, I want you to focus on the period at the end of a sentence. When you get to it when you're reading, that means to pause or stop. You're right. So I want you to practice that and let your teacher know how things are going this week with reading strategies and reading books, um, how these lessons are feeling. Are they feeling a little bit easy? Or are they feeling just right? Are they feeling hard? and overwhelming, you let us know so we can try to do our best to give um, you the learning that you need right now. Okay, it was good to see you and I will see you again later this week. Bye.